Hey everyone, Monkey Wrench Mike. We're back with another video from my home away from home. Yep, this is IAA Insurance Auto Auctions, but this isn't Tulsa. This is not Oklahoma City. This is Fort Myers, Florida. I'm down here on vacation visiting my brother and my sister and putting in a little work for you folks at home. A big thanks to everybody here at IAA for letting me come out and check out these cars. And what's some really cool cars they have. These things are amazing. These things are beautiful. And these things are really strange. By strange, I mean it's an ugly duckling. Look at this. This used to be a 2004 Toyota 4Runner. Used to be a really good car. Now it is or was a swamp buggy. You see that gigantic dragonfly? Look at him coming to pose for you right there. Okay, a little bit of everything. <laughs> That's actually the landfill right there. They have guys watering the grass. I don't know why, but this is what we're focusing on right now with the big snorkel on top, gigantic tires. She is lifted and she is painted with bed lining that has been tinted brown to make her gorgeous didn't work. She's not pretty. She's not pretty at all. This is, she used to be silver. Okay. And this is pretty thick, but it didn't stick. Not a lot of it is stuck on there. Um, some damage in the back. Oh, they just did everything. They just painted everything and they like to go fishing. Okay. That's all right. Um, if you are interested in this vehicle, you will need a tail light. We have a slight dent right here. Um, let's just, I, I have no idea what's going to happen. We have some wood screws holding this trim piece on. What's inside? Oh, she's been stripped. Oh, well, she may not run. You got your lazy buns, little piece of foam right there. There's your fan. That looks like your starter, some computer pieces, fan shroud, and a couple of air fresheners just to make her smell good. This is, this is something special. Whoa, she's rusty too. Look at that. So she has been boondogging. We have pull, pulls for your hood, I'm guessing. We have another pull for something else, maybe one of your air vents. We had a really important switch right here with all kinds of little plugs. I don't know what this one is for. We have a key and we have, oh, wow. Look at your computer. Look at all the rust and everything on your computer right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this has been, I don't, I, what, what's under the hood? Oh, well the hood's not even attached. The hood. Yeah, the hood's not attached. Here you go. That's where your fan is supposed to be. There's no belt. There's probably no starter. It's a cool looking oil filter, sparkly blue. Um, and you have your air filter going all the way out to your snorkel that goes all the way up to right there above the vehicle. Yeah, this is, look how dark black power steering fluid is. Yeah, she's not gonna run. She's not going to do anything. She's tired. She has been, stay, just don't come down. She's been rode hard and put up wet, like it used to say with horses that were not really cared for. So this is a mess. This, <laughs> but I bet she had some stories to tell back when she was alive. She would take these people anywhere they wanted to go when she was put together, lifted and snorkeled and painted and all kinds of stuff. Not my kind of vehicle, so let's move on. Well, I had this exact car, okay? Even with the same color center caps right there, same color paint, same color top, but mine had not been sat on by Dumbo the Elephant. Look at that, 1998 Jaguar XK8 that has just, something just fell on her. Look at that, maybe she flipped. Maybe they were driving too fast and she did a 180 or a 360 or a whatever comes after a 360 and just went cuckoo. 
That's unfortunate. That's a lot of damage. Hood is stuck. Trunk is stuck. Wheels are flat. Yeah, she's a goner. What memories I used to have of mine. Yeah, I loved it. It was a fun car. Had that when I was in uh, South Texas. Yep, and then I drove it from Texas to Atlanta with my dog living in the back. Chester, the best dog in the world, sat in the back right there, back window, and looked at everybody as we passed him by and started our new life in Atlanta. All right, let's keep looking for something cool. Well, I couldn't pass this up. <laughs> Look at this. 2008 Chrysler PT Cruiser with the wood treatment. That is something special. Okay, so she ran into something. Okay, so you need part of a bumper, probably a hood. Um, everything else looks to be okay. You could maybe even hide that and just put it back together. The hood is pushed in a little bit right here. Top seems to be in good condition, but most importantly, the wood wallpaper seems to be in great condition. What do you think about these? I don't know. I had, I know, ha, look at that. It's just, it's glued on. This is, it's kind of thick, actually. See how you, can you see? It's really kind of thick. Certainly is shiny and it certainly adds something to the car. Is it something good or something bad? I don't know. Like I said, I had a friend, some friends, they were older, they had a PT Cruiser. They liked it. And for some reason, older people just loved these cars. They really did. Um, I don't know. Like I said, the top is in good condition. Oh, well, here's some damage right here. So yeah, something kind of squashed into her right here. This will need a nice little tug. This will need a pull. Look how they put the wood on the, that's how thick it is, right there on your gas cap. That's kind of hard to get to. But they even, <laughs> wow. Okay, I can only imagine what the inside looks like. Yeah, like I was saying, older people just turned to these. I thought, I don't know, was Chrysler trying to be really cool and thought young kids would like these and then older people just started to buy them? I mean, they're on the neon platform, right? This, oh my goodness. This, look at this, two-tone. This was a top of the line vehicle. Woo, there are keys, lots of drinks. I mean, a lot of this stuff you could really fix. Would you drive it? I don't know, I really don't know. Would I drive it? I don't know. You got the little, yeah, okay. I'm not anticipating much here. I don't think she's gonna have any life left in her. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Window switches. Oh, oh, snails. Snails in the center console. All kinds of storage though. Boy, you sit way up in these things. Could you imagine going 120 in this? I couldn't. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little touch. I like the clock. It's just everything is this just this hard plastic. Um, this is from an insurance company. Okay. Well, yeah, she won't start. Let's look at the engine just for the heck of it. It's, I mean, in a weird way, it's, it's kind of old school cool, maybe. Ugh. Open sesame. There you go, little four cylinder, no damage up here. Some corrosion on the battery. It's just dirty. And you've got some spider webs right there and your radiator support is pushed in a little bit. It's simply a bolt on piece. So if you wanted to, you could get, you know, a new one or you could just attach that to another vehicle and give it a little tug. You know, the old fashioned way, that's kind of pushed into your condenser so you'd probably need another or is that just the radiator I think oh well the radiators cracked so you do need a radiator a little more extensive ugh, than I thought we'll put this back up here we'll say thank you for your service ma'am we wish you the best of luck 
in your next life and you were once at the top of your game living the wood life. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Once again, thanks to everybody here in Fort Myers. Ah, I'm just having a day out here, loving all of these cars. And a big shout out and a thank you to the folks at IA for letting me do this. It was spur of the moment. I contacted corporate, they said, yeah. They contacted the GM, she said, yeah, come on out. And we are having all kinds of fun. So thanks for watching. We are back with more videos where I get my hands dirty on that old Cadillac with almost half a million miles. Of course, I've got two Mercedes wagons I need to attend to and the ML55, my SUV with the really hot engine. Yeah, we're gonna show you that one coming up very, very soon. All right, everybody, have a great day. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.